Yeah, it's it's a tough loss. Um, you know, playing this team around limited possessions. Um, opportunities really their entire game. We just weren't making them, especially on my end, just missing throws, stuff like that, turning the ball over. Um, and then starting that second half, getting to that fourth quarter, I feel like those same plays are there. I just felt like we start as an offense, start clicking, start making those plays. So that was good to see, but um, unfortunately, we wasn't able to get the win today. Can you put your finger on maybe why you guys started hitting those plays later on? Was it just kind of getting comfortable, or what, what was? Yeah, I just feel like it was just getting in rhythm, um, getting on the same page with the receivers, so I'm just kind of timing stuff like that. I um, just haven't been playing, um, but I feel like once we started clicking, it was it was easy to go down there and score. Yeah, we've done this the whole spring, a whole summer, and um, it was kind of good to see it in the fourth quarter. I uh, wish we kind of got that started early, earlier on in the game. Um, but it's, it's good to see, and um, it shows that our team fights. I mean, we fought all the way to the end, so I'm just proud of our guys on offense and defense fighting all the way to the end. What was it like doing some huddling this week? I mean, that seemed to be a little bit of a change. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Um, sometimes we, we go fast, and then we kind of get out of, out of rhythm, so it's kind of good to switch up the tempos a little bit, kind of mess with the defense a little bit. But that was good, just kind of getting in rhythm on the offensive side of the ball. How do you, you know, when, it, when they kind of go up by a few touchdowns, how do you kind of not let that affect what you guys want to do on offense? Kind of our mentality is to focus on the play at hand. Um, we can only go one play at a time, so it's easier just to not look at the scoreboard and just focus on what play you have in front of us. And then um, usually just those stack up, and then that's how you put drives together. What do you feel like your team's mindset is now? Obviously, a couple of tough losses. Um, do you try to stay in the game with the quarterback? Yeah, we're just trying to turn the page. Um, we see a lot of good things. We just got to put it all together, and we, it's the same. Um, thing we've been saying the past couple weeks, but I feel like that the end of the game we start to get stopped and start moving the ball and scoring, and that's what we want to see. So it's good to see that, and we want to do that uh, the next couple games and make a run at the end. You know, you talk about kind of getting comfortable with receivers, and um, you know that throw to Anthony Smith in the corner of the end zone. Is that something you're talking about? Just kind of like when you kind of dial it in, you guys can do stuff. Like yeah, no that. doubt. That play call, I knew it was man on man. Um, safety was down, and that's just stuff we've worked in the spring and summer. Just knowing he's a really good jump ball guy, really athletic guy, and knowing he's better than that corner, and he went up and made a play. So that's just those are some, some of the things where I just felt like I, I trusted the receivers later on in the game. Um, we just didn't uh, come out to play. You know what I mean? They came out and uh, firing on all cylinders. We we didn't respond early on, or we responded in the second half. It's not really tough at all. We just got to make sure we have our eyes in the right spot. It all comes down to us. You know what I mean? Uh, just we got to have our eyes in the right spot so we can do our job. You guys were down, you know, quite a bit, I guess, at halftime, but y'all did come back and you know, mm -hmm. kind of make it close at the end. I mean, what, what kind of, you know, motions or stuff y'all are dealing with in, in a situation like that since you'd be able to come back? And that's Emotions? Yeah. Um, we're just, we got a good group. We, we are for fighters, even though the scoreboard says otherwise, we're always going to keep chipping away, keep chipping away, keep chipping away. And keep uh, stacking days and next play mentality. You know, watching you in run support, I mean, Army, I'm not going to say they get away with holding, but I mean, they do a good bit of it. How do you just fight through that and not let that frustrate you? You know, when they're wrapping you up, you're trying to make a drive. Uh, just, like I said, next play mentality. That's where they are. They're going to try to reach block you, get around. You know what I mean? Just kind of like, just keep fighting. That's all it is. Just play one play at a time, next play mentality, and protecting the culture. I know you guys, you know, watch them on tape and stuff, but just seeing, you know, that good quarterback, what, what is he able to do that makes his team successful? Yeah, he's the commander of that offense. Uh, he's a good player. He's a good football player. Uh, he knows how to get in between the creases, follow his blocks, and they have a good system that, that highlights his skill set. He's a good guy. He's a good player. You know, five games left. What is the team's mindset right now coming off the past couple of losses? Win every one of them. We still have our, our eyes uh, set forward. Uh, trying to go, set five games left, trying to go five and no down the stretch. So it's going to be one week at a time, one and no each week. Chase, just kind of where your emotions after struggle in the first half for you guys with a, a better second half? Um, I mean, obviously it's not the results we want, um, but I see our guys fighting in that second half. Um, and that's a big thing for me, just being able to go out swinging, um, don't go out there, you know, just rolling over for them. And, Give him a fight, and that's all you can ask for. And I think our guys did a great job of that. Um, putting up 28 points, that's that's a big win for us. So we just got to keep building on that. So. Caden talked about just kind of building a relationship with you guys throughout the game. I mean, yeah. how, how do you kind of feel that, that materialized, I guess, in the second half? Well, you know, uh, Caden, when we first got here, we kind of um, texted back and forth, you know, kind of try to find ways we could get extra work. Um, so that was, a, that was like the beginning of the relationship. And then just throughout the season, I was kind of telling him, like, even when he wasn't in, 
to stay up because your opportunity is going to be up. So uh, I think that helped him a lot. You know, like he trusts me on the field just because we talk we talk outside of football just about real stuff, and I love I love Kaden. So I feel our relationship is great. Was it nice that you were able to get that good rack on that you know that pass that touchdown pass? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, got to shout out my guys, uh, Raja Harris, uh, Anthony Smith. Just a bunch of guys just playing for each other, and that's what we—that's what we're about. Um, you could see like three guys go out and run in front of me, blocking, and I just just ran, did my job. So. Just reps, just reps, um, just execution. That's all it comes down to. I think the second half we kind of settled down more. Um, just because we kind of just played our game. And I think that's what we need to do better of um, coming out the first half, just playing our game, not trying to do too much or trying to be too quick and anything like that. Um, just, just staying true to us. So. And how do you think, you know, Peyton did you know, his first start um, just overall? Oh, he did great. He did great. I mean, obviously, he got things to work on. I got things to work on. But I'll ride with four any time of the day. So I think he did great. Um, I think we're for pretty steady minded, um, you know, in the sense that we still are bowl eligible. So that's kind of one of our things that we, we need to focus on, um, just winning out and not worrying about like the results or anything, just kind of just playing power football and then just kind of letting the results take care of itself. So. Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, I feel like when we talk to you guys, you guys always talk about playing for each other and keeping the head up. Like, I don't know if that happens everywhere, but yeah. you kind of feel like this, this team is still pretty tight. through. Yeah. The two, um, so one thing I noticed um, coming into ECU is just the brotherhood for real. Like, when I say, like, playing for each other, or, like, going out here fighting, like, not every team can just go out there and do that. That's something that you got to really have grit, you know, patience. You got to be able to go out there and really, like, execute. So I love my group of guys, and I'll fight for them any day of the week. So. When you get that, it's, it's so much easier to play for them, you know?